Thank you for joining us at Nikki Dare Radio, heard worldwide by millions of listeners, with your lovely host, Ms. Nikki Dare. Our podcast, hosted by Nikki Dare, is your home for education to safety and survival, leadership and inspiration. Nikki Dare is the founder of I Dare Inc., a registered 501c3, with its mission to educate and mobilize resources for preparedness and sustainability. Sustainability. IDARE is a grassroots credo and personal mission based on its pillars of excellence, integrity, diversity, adaptation, resilience, and empowerment. Ms. Dare's personal mission is to help you encounter your purpose by unlocking your inherent potential and finding joy in the journey. Women's advocate, transformational mentor, and a seasoned BPR change management consultant since her early 20s in transforming companies, and decades later, she is reinventing her purpose. And now, here's your lovely host, Ms. Nikki Dare. try my best here <laughs> to make this message but guys uh, this is Nikki Dare here good to see you guys just wanting to stop by here briefly uh, to mention about what's going on currently weather related is Hurricane Hillary folks who are living here and also working here in Southern California SoCal yes including myself there is a uh, storm the aftermath uh, the effect impact after Hurricane Hillary uh, coming around here they have to stay prepared. Stay prepared for this coming um, weekend, which is tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday. It's expected to have uh, a storm, tropical storm. And I think staying prepared should be and is at 365 in a year activity. So according to NOAA, an average hurricane season uh, produces 14 named storms, of which seven become hurricanes, including the three major hurricanes. Um, I want to add this also, the Atlantic hurricane season is traditionally coming around from June the 1st, the 1st of June through the end of November. And the peak of that Atlantic hurricane season is traditionally September 10 with most activity occurring between uh, the mid-August like we're on right now mid-August uh, and mid-October and why is that uh, people ask all the time because hurricanes um, form when ocean water is warmest so far this year tropical storms uh, Arlene and Brett and if you're aware of that they were like about 40 to 70 miles per hour now Hurricane Hillary currently categorized um, as a category 4 powerful category 4 storm it is forecasted to make uh, landfall in our region this coming weekend yes lucky as in southern california with safety as our utmost priority i just wanted to reach out and also emphasize the importance of not just staying prepared but also knowledgeable enough and be informed throughout this whole potential uh, weather related event uh, disaster basically according to NWS National Weather Service the uh, the storm rotating northward off the coast of Mexico basically around with the Baja Peninsula 
along the coastline of that. Uh, it has wind, sustained wind of 140 miles per hour increasing along the west central co uh, coast of Baja Peninsula. Uh, Baja BCS, we call it, right? We won't be driving through Baja. <laughs> not anytime this weekend obviously because we love to drive there but predicted to be weakened by tomorrow by saturday so yes there will be heavy rainfall uh, expected in areas of counties such as los angeles as they say right uh, oc orange county the category for hurricane hillary intensifies uh, which is a hurricane you know uh, hillary flood watch has been issued for multiple areas in counties such as Los Angeles, Orange County, and Riverside counties due to this expected heavy, heavy uh, rainfall that has uh, in some of these areas. And then flood watch is also will be affected starting Sunday afternoon uh, and throughout Monday, um, throughout Monday evening across Los Angeles County. I'm holding on my tripod right now here <laughs> so you won't go fly out. <laughs> so flood watch is issued when conditions are uh, favorable for flooding it doesn't you know it doesn't mean that it's flooding will occur but it is possible and we always want to stay prepared and um, stay being proactive LAFD is offering setbacks ahead of the storm for homeowners and residents to prepare so for a list of these available sandbags uh, please in your area please feel free to check out their link go to um, in fact why don't you go to my Twitter and my idea LinkedIn and also read more details uh, on idearecares.org. I believe on my Twitter is the best way. As we, as we brace ourselves for the potential impact of Hurricane Hillary and the tropical storm afterwards here, it is crucial that we take proactive steps to ensure the safety of our families, our loved ones, homes, and you know, our business as well, and communities. But we hope for the best. help us navigate through uh, the storm with confidence and also resilience. In light of this, I would like to share some key preparedness measures and all of these are pretty much basic 101 of preparedness and all these resources that we should all consider. So the first thing and foremost is emergency kit. Prepare an emergency kit with all of these emergency essentials such as your non-perishable foods, water, medications, flashlights with extra extra batteries, <laughs> Murphy's always show up, and a first aid kit and important documents uh, that you want to store it properly. Communication plan is also a good one. Establish communication plan with, with your family, your loved ones, your friends, also your neighbors. Ensure that everyone knows how to reach each other, how to that's kind of like okay right now these days, right? Uh, in case of the power outages or disruptions to, uh, to your cell services. Um, the next thing is secure outdoor items is so important. That's why we always do this before, right? The season. Secure outdoor furniture, lawn equipment. Um, also, if you have a pool, all of these things around the pools, any loose objects that could become uh, pro uh, projectiles that could become projectiles in high winds. Believe me, I know this. Stay informed. Always, always stay informed. Regularly monitor reliable weather updates. Um, they all have this nice apps and everything like that. You can always download that for free from official sources such as the National Hurricane Center, uh, NOAA, things like that, and your local emergency management agency. Um, all of these people always have an updated version of you know, your local weather related notification to receive this real time information. Um, last but not least is evacuation plan. You must have this. If you are in an area that might be impacted by any of these weather related uh, disasters, the hurricanes path, we're talking about this, right? Familiarize yourself with local evacuation routes and shelters, so important. Be prepared to leave if authorities, right? of your emergency responders recommend or mandate evacuation and also backup power. If you have a generator, right, ensure it is in good working. In fact, after you listen to this, you must check it right now. Make sure it is in working condition. If you have enough power, if you do not have a generator, consider um, alternative power, power sources for you know, ch charging your essential emergency items or devices and also stock up. 
stock up on any necessary supplies, you know, foods, for example, and that's mainly mainly foods, including uh, foods, water, medication, all of these things that necess is necessary for you to last for several days in case of disruptions, you never know, to normal services back up again. So please keep safety as your uh, top priority and encourage everybody, your loved ones, to do the same. Uh, we are all in this together after all. We are all in this together and by staying prepared and inform one another, we can navigate these potential uh, challenges with resilience and care for one another. And I hate to think of this also, I wanna add this, but as the rainfall, uh, you know, to the hot ground, right? Since massive, massive heat weather that we have all experienced throughout the summer so far, right? This could also impact the plate, the ground on this earth, right? After all, we live on this giant, red, hot, boiling sea of molten rock. Don't want to hurt your bubbles, but it is so true. It's a magma ocean. So please, let's not get too excited. Don't want to set up paranoia, but we're all lucky to be here on the planet Earth. But there could be that potential, right? Shake, followed by this massive storm at, uh, at this uh, magnitude and these hurricane events. Again, I don't want to set any paranoia, but I think it's always, it's always smart to be proactive and stay prepared. So my point, there's not much that we can do to avoid this mother nature's whims, next whim, whatever she wants to do, right? <laughs> this mother nature's next catastrophe, but we can better prepare ourselves, physically, mentally, and also financially. All right, there is a question. When was the worst hurricane? Uh, I think you guys, most of you guys already know this, it's the year 2005, notorious for Hurricane Katrina uh, back in Louisiana. If you recall that, still the most expensive, expensive storm in the US history. Could probably be considered the busiest Atlantic hurricane season of all time. Very expensive, very devastating. Of the 28 named storms that year, 15 reached hurricane status and seven of those, seven of those were considered major hurricanes. 2005 Hurricane Katrina. So let's stay connected throughout this time, sharing updates and also offering support as needed. And so feel free to reach out if you have any questions or any tips or need assistance or in preparing for the uh, for this hurricane preparedness. Wishing you all safety and strength in the face of this impending weather event. This is Nikki Dare. Thank you so very much for listening. You guys stay safe, everyone. Stay safe, everyone. Please support our team advocating disaster preparedness with its grassroots mission to save lives. I dare cares. That's our hashtag is I dare cares. I dare cares .org. After all, we're all in this together. Thank you for watching. You have been listening to Nikki Dares Radio, a podcast of sustainability with your host, Ms. Nikki Dare. Nikki Dare's life has been spent passionately in helping others going through transformation, both personal and professional. To learn more, please visit Ms. Dare's websites, education.nikkidare.com. Workshops on safety preparedness, situational awareness are available. Also available, the Transformational Coaching Series. For corporate and private group pricing, please contact us. Please visit her website, NikkiDare.com. All of her broadcasts are available for free download on iTunes podcast, Nikki Dare. For more details on opportunities for sponsorships and speaking engagements, please email us at education at Nikki dare.com join her next time living in purpose and passion our mission is to live a sustainable life with your host nikki dare